Hey everybody, right on here. Thanks for tuning in to episode 32 of Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord. Here's the scenario settings voted on by all of you at the start. So before I get started, I just want to go over some change logs. I have updated the game to 1.5.1, which adds a whole lot of new stuff, pages and pages and pages of it, but I'm just going to highlight some of what I think interests me the most. Uh, there's a proper death system with old age. There's a few new quests. Uh, the perk trees for throwing, athletics, archery, and crossbow are pretty much fleshed out. Um, units have been rebalanced. Combat improved for the like reaction time to swing, counter swing, block, that kind of stuff. And AI tactics have been improved as well. Uh, primarily skirmishers will try to stay away from melee range which is mostly helpful for like horse archers shooting and not actually engaging in melee. And then the big one, AI diplomacy is a little bit more clever. Now their AI diplomacy, um, it's, I, how, how to put this? It was first pass, meaning that uh, it's surely not finished, not even close, but um, you know, it, this patch, it's looking good, I guess. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, is let's recruit who we can and upgrade who we can and then we'll drop the remainder of my troops that I don't have space for into my garrison yeah there we go we already lost some to uh, okay keep garrison putting all of the non Volandians away done and then go to the dungeon actually no let's ransom off let's see keep dungeon I want to take these two nobles Go to the Tavern District, choose who to be ransomed, we'll ransom off the nobles, and then anyone that we'll never be able to recruit, tier 5 and 6. Cool. That's a free 10 grand. Uh, my prisoners are still over the limit, so let's dungeon up the lower level ones that I don't have need for. Goodbye. We could always pick them up at a later date and see if we can't recruit them. All right, and I need to... Yep, there we go. Now I'm not over capacity. Uh, and then I'm gonna do a, I bet you aren't expecting this, a little bit of a weird thing where I'm gonna disband my parties entirely. And then I am going to use my influence to settle all debts. Disbanding everything. Or uh, getting peace with everyone. So, what I want to do focusing on this episode is try to get some vassals. And I really can't do that if I'm having to also fight to defend my own territories. Uh, Vredog got redone the uh, the skills here. And let me just justify it. Quick draw allows you to throw more and faster over Shieldbreaker. Um, Hunter is against mounts. Flexible Fighter is just a general, you know, bonus damage and all that. Perfect Technique is increased projectile speed better than Mounted Archer. And then Running Throw allows the missiles to go faster rather than knocking mounted guys off. And I did that for Vredog as well. Um, Alda is at Legata. Uh, so let's swing by Legata. And go grab my sister to add her to our party. And then we're going to look for vassals. Um, so, in order to make our kingdom more attractive for vassals to want to join us, another thing I'm going to want to do is to add some um, mercenaries so that it bolsters our total strength. Because right now our total strength is pretty low. 
and most of the vessels that I would be adding would look at our numbers and be like, well, you're you're going to lose, so why would I join you? But if I add a bunch of mercenaries who I just need to pay to join me, um, one of the benefits could be that... Um, one of the benefits of that could be that uh, they see us as stronger, and therefore maybe we can recruit them. So we just added Alda. And I'm going to set Alda to 6, which is heavy infantry. Which is the same that we have our recruits on. Uh, so that I can level her up. Because she is fresh. And by that I mean. She's got. Um, essentially no skills whatsoever. So I'm definitely going to want to. Train her on looters and the like. Well, let's take a look at her. So she's got a pure blood horse. Chain horse harness. So she's got a really good horse. But her armor is pretty lackluster. And um her swords are well i can give her this one it's a little bit better her swords are kind of garbage and she has no bow and i'm also going to give her my highland round shield that i had for myself so with the new 1.5.1 update as you can see a ton of the enemy uh, kingdoms are all declaring peace with one another um and that's what would be expected because the AI diplomacy benefits make them a little bit smarter. Uh, another thing I want to do is to dump all of my non-Volandian prisoners in. I'm really not interested in adding any right now in a time of peace. I don't need to be um, tapping into that prisoner uh, pool. And I would rather have the movement speed. So I'm going to travel uh, sort of northeastish, looking for anyone that I might be able to add to my roster. Okay, so he is a mercenary, but he serves someone else. Uh, another thing I wanted to do is check around Ovania for Ospir. Ospir was someone that I had convinced in the past. Oh, here he is. Um, to join me, and maybe I can do that again. Doubtful, but maybe. Okay, let's go for... Mm, that's not looking good. Nope. I've lost this conversation. Oh, well. And Luke and is his son, so forget that. So now that we're at total peace, Trustin and Damien are going to wander around my own territory, uh, killing off looters and protecting it from would-be, you know, looters and the like. Uh, Dutchin. You are not a leader of your own mercenary party. Bummer. I was really hoping for a leader here. Uh, Desporian, he is a leader of his own. What about Mar Martyr? You are the son of Farron. Yeah, maybe I can try to talk to Farron at some point. So Desporian is in probably the Lord's Hall. Yeah, here he is. Let's see if I can't convince him. It's unlikely it's going to work, but might as well try. Okay, ineffective. He really hates me is one of the one of the issues here. He, I have a negative 29 with him. Okay, critical fail. Worth the try. Doesn't cost me anything, but a little bit of time. And we're already here. Alright. I don't think there's anyone... Yeah, there's no one else in that town. So... Let's continue to Amatatus. Let's make sure I'm not missing anyone. We just bartered off one of our prisoners. Uh, here's Ragnvad. Curious what he even has to say. Minus 40. So I can try to marry off someone for an alliance between me and Ragnvad, but I honestly don't want to do that. Oh, 
don't even know what's going on over here. Hello, Chuggin. Uh, your Munchuck's kid. Okay, never mind. Forget it. His, his daddy. His daddy is the, uh, the king. So it's not like he's going to join me. Uh, this is an army, so they're not going to join me. Uh, let's check north and move through Batanian territory. Now, I don't want to be too far from my own territory because, you know, someone could declare war on me. Uh, I probably have enough influence to end the war immediately, but that doesn't necessarily mean I want to be defenseless. Um, because, you know, if I went all the way out to, let's say, Bokahend, you know, I'd be nowhere in position to protect. Alright, so you are a minor faction of Brotherhood of Wolves, but, uh, Orest is the leader, so I can't talk to you. Russell's castle has no one. Uh, there's Engulther over here. Uh, let me go talk to Engulther. This Engulther is a mercenary leader, I believe. If I can catch him. And Kaladog's leading an army. Come on, Engulther. Slow down. What about you, Oshir? Alright, let's help Oshir's party with the looters, with like a looter group. Alright, Alda and my recruits go attack. These uh, losers are. There's only five of them, so they're already kind of dead. Blink! Yeah. Not a big fight. Alright, so he'll like me a little bit more that I helped him out. I don't want the Sturgeon peasants. Oh god, there's almost nothing. So, Oshir, you are leader of a minor faction. Perfect. So, he is going to join us and fight alongside. Now I'm going to talk to Engalther. Oh, I need to talk to Borvald, uh, who is his leader. Vatten, Volton, you are not the leader of your mercenary party. So, we did get one group of mercenaries to join us. And if you check here, if I rally, we have Oshir, Kevil, Voldrat, and Ilmir to rally. I, of course, have to, it costs me influence based upon, um, you know, the sort of calculated strength of those armies. But um, that's something, I guess. Because if you take a look at our kingdom strength, our numbers have gone up, making us look like less of a weak target. And I would have to hire a lot of mercenaries to look strong. But it also, if if I'm then talking to um, vassals, it makes the va it reassures the vassals that we're not necessarily going to immediately lose if they switch sides to my side. That's kind of the really important part. Because vassals care if, you know, it looks like they join you, they will immediately uh, get, you know, lose all their territory and get crushed. They're, they're trying to make smart decisions, so. I get it. I get it. Alright, so we'll continue looking around here for some, um, some recruits. There's no one in that castle. Let's head towards northern, uh, over here. I'm not seeing a whole lot of uh, people. Now one of the other benefits of just, okay, so there's Carfid. You are 
Ardawir is your lord who's right in front of you. So let's try to talk to Ardawir. Yeah, there's a bunch of guys over here. Oh, and Borvald is a uh, mercenary captain. Perfect. Okay, so let me try talk to Borvald and hire him out once I catch him. Southern Empire just declared war on Azurai. At least, at least it ain't me. Okay, now I'm paying the Golden Boar. Alright, Carfid, I was looking for your... Your papa. Ottawir. Ottawir will try to track you down and see if I can't convince you to join us. So if you take a look at our... Um, our our uh, Kingdom Strength again. Why do I keep hitting the wrong key? As you can see, strength has gone up again. And if I rally the party, there's even more to rally. Because I pay them. Salu, Salusios, you are a minor faction, but Krotor is your uh, your boss. Borcha, aren't you the boss of your own minor faction? Yes, he is. All right, let's go talk to Borcha, another mercenary. There we are. So now I have a whole bunch of mercenaries making up for a significant portion of our forces. But what that will do is it will make... Um, I don't think that will help us against... Well, it will make Sturgia and Western Empire and, and Northern Empire think twice about attacking us. But if I manage to add some more vassals, uh, it's possible that, um, you know, that our numbers will be bolstered enough to make us look fierce. So, Adawir... I forget how to spell your name. I don't remember. Fiorad. You are Luchin's kid. Okay, well, Luchin, despite liking me, I don't think he's going to join me. Who are you? Oh, Arid Ardwer. Yeah, that's the one I want to talk to. There you are. And the concept here is if I'm able to add some Lari of the Brotherhood, Arrest is the leader. If I'm able to add some um, vassals to my group, um, I'm going to happily give them any future captured territory so that they stick with me. You go this way. Their uh, their move speed is a little bit greater than mine, so it's hard to track them. Joron. you are a mercenary leader as well, so let's try to hire you out. So I've got the money to, you know, throw around to try to hire all these mercenaries. Now, they're not necessarily loyal to me, right? They're they're not... Oh, I'm almost out of food, too. They're not necessarily going to stick around. Why won't he, uh... That's weird. Oh, is he hired out to someone else? No. I don't know why I can't hire him. I should be able to because he's the leader. But let's go to Dunglanis. And buy some food because I am a hungry party. That's enough food to last me a good long while.
Adware went to Rimtoil. So you went southeast, I went southwest. That's why we split. But I don't, I mean, at some point, point, anyone that I meet, I'm going to ask. So you're a kid of Kaladog, that's not going to work for me, or for you for that matter. Uh, Mikri. Of the forest people, you are not the leader. Blag is. So if I find Blag, I'll talk to him. Alsea, you are Melodier's child, who's near Foreign. Okay, that's not helpful. Adwer, still near Rimtoil. I don't think you are, but I don't have an update. Uh, who do you have prisoner? Let's see, you have a bunch of Empire peasants, so nope, not going to free you. Sorry. It's mean, I know, but don't don't have interest. Every now and then you can find looters that have actually interesting prisoners held prisoner. Not that time, though. Still saying you're, you're, you're near Remtoil. I'm just going to take a, a gamble and say you went north. Could be wrong, I have no idea. Haven't seen a lot of other nobles though. Alright, Vilder. You're a Sturgeon. You are the leader of your own clan. I'm gonna try to convince you. If I can catch you, that is. We are. I'm faster than you though. And then I'll I'll take a look at our core. Prender. Alright, so Vilder. Hold up, hold up. Oh, we're off to a good start. Uh, so you are merciful and generous. But I will try for the charm approach. Oh, so far so good. Okay, I have one more shot at this. There we are. Now, what's your cost? Way more than I can afford. All right. Which is weird, because of course, he only has 36,000 dinars. But he wants half a million or so to join. Arcor, aren't you the kid of the king? Vassal. Yeah. Yeah. So you're not going to join me because you're related to your liege. I'm bummed about Vilder. I guess that's the problem is we might run into the issue where every vassal wants a giant lump sum of cash and short of exploiting game mechanics... I'm really not going to be afford that. I'm just, there won't be a situation where I'll, I'll be able to pay out that kind of money. You know? Uh, Orest, you were a, uh, a mercenary boss. And you won't talk to me. I already tried to talk to you. No, I didn't try to talk to you. Yeah, you are... Okay, maybe maybe I'm um, maximum amount of uh, mercenary parties or something. That could be. I, that's not something I know about as a thing, but I I could believe it. I guess. Uh, all right. Well, let's keep trying to add to our recruits. One thing I might want to do is swing by like Orticia. And, or Legata. I'll swing by Legata and 
drop off a lot of the troops that I just don't need to be uh, carrying around. Because I can't cover as much uh, physical land with them in tow. Probably do the same with the prisoners. Oh, I gained a level though. Uh, let's put a focus point in bows with my level. Alright, managing the keep, garrison, so there's no one in this garrison, I'm going to put in all my non-mounted non-recruits. So 193 troops, I'm going to be able to move pretty quick, and then dungeon. I'm going to put in one footman. <laughs> Back to garrison. Back to dungeon. Because I, I do want to add these guys, because they're sort of freebies. So there. Now my party speed should be a lot swifter. It's actually, because of the prisoners, not that much. Oh, yeah, it's daytime now. Uh, let me go keep... Dungeon. Let me drop the rest of them in the dungeon. Yeah, I'm, I'm much faster now. Alright, so now the hunt for vassals. Uh, one of the ways to... pseudo-reliably add vassals is to talk to friends. So Lucan is never going to join me. Uh, I could try to talk to Lu Chin again. He's actually not too far away. He should be over here near Veron Castle. That's where he said it was last. Well, uh, are you in it? No, no one's in it. I don't know where he is. Probably recruiting, so I'll check the surrounding areas. Shalar, you are the leader of another mercenary party. Okay, I think I'm I, I'm capped for mercenaries. Is what's going on? That seems to be the case. Because all mercenaries don't even want to talk to me. So three mercenary parties. Let's say is the max. All right, Mr. Luchin, where are you? Promosos, so you went east. So my territory is crawling with my uh, vassals, basically, and my um, my mercenaries. So I shouldn't have a lot of looter problems. See if you went northeast. Hmm. Hasn't updated. My daily gold change is definitely in the negatives. I have enough uh, dinars sitting on that I'm not all that worried about that. Uh, Valandi just declared war on Azurai. Now, any foreign wars do benefit me because um, uh, because it makes once the kingdoms that are at war get losses, I'm stronger in comparison. I guess is the way to put it. God, Luchin, where are you, man? 
You're not near Promosos. I, I can... What about Incurian? Incurian. Oh, yeah, I could talk to you. You're Clan Tier 5. You might be a little pricey. But hey, you might join. Oh, I failed to persuade him in the past. Whoopsie. Sorry about my bad memory. Getting vassals. I had a lot easier of a time getting vassals in pl past uh, run-throughs. So Southern and Azurai just made peace. So Azurai isn't not quite as getting beat up on as they once were. But there, there could be some people around here to talk to that might be desperate for a uh, a change. Okay, you're Unkud's daughter, so never mind. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> Heckard, I've already talked to. Thumbund, I think you're Heckard's kid. No, you're uh, Calatild's kid. Okay, well that's not going to work. What about you, Faffin? Uh, my encyclopedia's not working? Okay, you are your own clan tier. Alright, this may... Okay, well that's a bad start. But this may be an avenue. If I can succeed the conversation... There we are. Now, what's your price? Oh. You'll just join. That is phenomenal. Alright, so Fafin, you're cruel but daring. And, uh. Galden is cautious and devious. So, maybe not the most honorable to have joined us, but, um. Some proper vassals. Some actual vassals. I'm I'm excited about that. Uh, let's keep searching the battlefield for people that have lost numbers. So you are, again, your clan tier 2. Wow, you are real small. Okay, ineffective, but that's what it was like last conversation. And then... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to succeed this conversation. Critical fail, 13%. Alright, well, I tried. Um, well, Lantanor, you are Griffer's kid, so I'll talk to Griffer, who no one has seen in six days. So once I have a few vassals, if I can build up my vassals like that, uh, my plan is to try to find a easy to hit, ter uh, easy to hit kingdom, take their territory, and give it to my vassals to give a, give the vassals a reason to stick around. Um, Medea, Nemos, and then all these are my mercenaries. Um, Nadea, Nemos. I believe are uh, Garrus's kids. Yeah, they both are. So, that's that's a non-starter right there. Uh, let's see if I can't snipe. Who's who's losing a war right now is, I think, the best question. So, Azurai, you're at war with Vlandic and Kuzate, so your vassals might be eager to leave. My total strength against Southern Empire is looking pretty good. So, anyone in the Southern Empire might be eager to leave as well. Batania, you're probably not looking. And Kuzate's the, 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 the Goliath. So, I think Azurai is probably my best bet. Heading into Azurai territory and looking for easy to convert Azurai vassals and uh, turning them over to my side. Tarek, let's start with you. You are Adram's kid, who's near Threctatory Castle. 
which is up here. All right. What about you? D I H or D H I D U. You. You're unquit. Never mind. That's not going to work. Anyone directly related to a king or queen is can never really be recruited. Ooh, there is a lot of landings around. So it looks like the guy I was looking to talk to is getting crushed right now. Yeah, he's done. Um, but there's a lot of Valandians for me to talk to here. Amalgan is in Galther. Right, let me figure out Lyanna. Lena, whatever your name is. Your Aldrichs. Is there an Aldrich here? Do I have an Aldrich? I'm trying to. F oh man, there's so many. Peric, Thumund. A lot of these guys are people I've talked to in the past. Alright. That's not a good start. I need a critical success chance in this last. Oh, there's no crit success chances, so I fail. Oh, well, worth a shot. Heckard, I've talked to you pretty recently. And failed. Uh, anyone else in here? No, there's no one fresh in that cluster. What about you, Varton? Varton answers to only Varton, so yeah, Varton might be a good person to talk to. Not if the only thing I've said to him is a critical fail. That won't work. Uh, how about Nifon? You answer to Sarandon. Sarandon is near Ostakin, so I'll ride up towards Ostakin sort of passively, looking for the people on the way. Okay, I can't talk to anyone in an army, because anyone in an army is not a valid recruit. What about Eka? Ekarind. You are a solo vassal. You have some holdings, so I doubt you'll flop, but couldn't hurt to, to, to ask. Oh, I failed uh, in the past. That's a big enough looter party for me to warrant a little fight. Soldiers! Infantry with me! Food man! Engage! So there's goes Alda, my sister who's being sent to try to level up. She's also messing with the looters in such a way that they all like turned around. It's not great. Good job, Alda. You got one. Alright, I don't care to farm them. About half of the recruits are ready to level. That's really what I was after. Alright, Sarandon, you're still last seen near Ostakin, so I'll keep moving towards Ostakin. Not 
you're near Ox Hall, so let me double back. Are you in Ox Hall? No. So where'd you go from here? Let me double check the, uh... Oh no, here you are. Okay, wish me luck. Ineffective. No one wants to follow a queen, do, do they? Man, you are a very short man, aren't you? Uh, well, there's no critical success chance on the last choice, so I cannot succeed this, which is unfortunate. All right, let me continue my original uh, strategy of attack of trying to convince um, trying to convince Azurai to join me because they're not doing so well in the battle. So it's possible that because they're on the, the side of the losers, they'll want to switch. Kuzate and Azurai just made peace. Well, that's a problem. Um, I'm going to spend some of my influence supporting the uh, the new clan that I, I recruited. Because they had negative influence. And uh, I want to prop them up and build a relationship with them. So that they stick around a little bit longer. Talon gained a level. You have... I'm going to put a point, some points into scouting, and then a free focus point into bows. Okay, Fernhard, you answered Aldric. I already failed to recruit Aldric. Ekrand, I've already failed to recruit you. Godin, your ex uh, Sturgia, maybe you'll join me. Ha! Oh, critical fail. All right, I won't ask again for a long, long time. Lantanor, I already talked to you. I think. Griffer is... No, actually, I don't think I've talked to Griffer. So that's a possible lead. Who are you? Farton, I've already talked to you. That failed as well. Man, you'd think someone with as much charm as I have would have a little bit better luck with, you know, talking to anyone over. All right, what about... Uh, what's going on here? Oh, well, Unquid, forget that. And Dia Huel, I've already asked you. So Nuker... Nukar. Your Unquids, never mind. That's not going to work either. Savannah. You're Godin's kid, so that's... I just failed the conversation with Godin. I probably insulted him to his face for that critical fail immediately. So that's a non-starter. Q-A-H-A-N. And... Th that Theos. Garyosis. Okay. Nope. Neither of them I can talk to. They're all not the boss of their own clans. Uh, let's pop into Sonala. You know, I haven't actually spent a lot of time this far south. That's pretty good armor. I'm not in the mood to buy anything, but you know, if I was, so what kind of weapons do you have here? Hmm. Okay, weapons. Some okay bows. Done. Alright, 
let's keep riding around. Talos is in an army, so that's not going to work. Can't talk to anyone in an army. Mara, with two A's. You are Adram's kid. Adram is near Usankt Castle, which is really, really, really far away. So, nope. I don't believe there's anyone in this keep. Nope. There is not. Well, guys, that about makes me run out of time. So, the search for vassals, I've added one, at least. Not a really skilled one, not one that I'm super happy about, but the fact that I at least have one vassal from all of my efforts is something. Uh, next episode is probably going to be some more vassal searching. If you have any tips for me about trying to add vassals or whatever, do drop me a line because, oof, I'm, uh, it's not going so well. I'll catch you all next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Adios.